Hey Dudley's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Jimin and why people believe he is very scared and what is going on internally within Hive and why are there some serious accusations happening. A crazy fan working at Hive, I want to talk about it. I also want to get into a post that made us feel like a member from a popular group is leaving. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tape. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you use a hate, like to be first, leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that official bell also, and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to talk about is Jimin and him being scared. There was apparently a stalker fan accusation going around, and I wanted to give some context first on what is happening. First off, armies have for a long time felt Hype has mistreated BTS from the alleged claims of using them for clout or for using them for free advertising. Such claims didn't come from nowhere, as there were moments where it was seen that the BTS manager was driving around his girlfriend in the BTS van, and other moments where a shop owner made food that Jin and RM were to try during a live stream, and kind of asked the boys to eat it only for the boys to not like it because it doesn't match their diet. And then the store owner was apparently very happy that BTS endorsed their food and talked about getting a piece of the BTS coin. And then even moments where people felt like the staff was secretly taking photos of BTS, like stalker fans or what they say in Korean, assassin fans. I think it's okay to ask BTS to try some food, but there needs to be more thought into the food and to make sure that it's what the boys want to eat. You can't just simply have garbage food and food that people who are advertising it don't even like and expect that it will sell out. It won't. And I am so sick of this idea that someone came up with 50 years ago that all press is good press. It's not. And it hasn't been for a long time. People actually get their careers ended over bad press now and store owners can lose their entire business. Like if it became huge news that your local restaurant had rats the size of dogs and filled with roaches, the restaurant will never recover. Not all press is good and making BTS food that they don't like isn't going to help you. That was my issue with the whole situation. Not the fact that they wanted BTS to promote it. And another issue is that you can take photos and use BTS's van, that's fine I think, as long as they don't mind, but don't post and brag about it. But this apparent recent issue went a lot bigger than all of that and high respect Jimin or something like that became trending worldwide. And people were upset to say the least. This was in reference to the video that BTS posted on their channel and this was the behind the scenes clip of the UN performance. So just them getting ready and just showing how much work they put into this performance and the event. As I am sure so many armies were curious what exactly they all went through. Apparently there was a part where all the boys were sitting together. Sugar was joking around about Jimin and I think the context was that they were teasing about something as per usual. And Sugar called Jimin Park Chimin. I don't know what the nickname actually means but that's what a lot of people heard and they believe that is what Sugar said. What was shocking was actually the caption at that moment and it said Dak Chimin which has a very different meaning and it actually means chicken Jimin which some people were saying that the word sounded similar and it was an honest mistranslation and others says it was clearly not the same word and it was a bad mistake. At first I thought people were mad because they were trying to say that Sugar would never call Jimin a chicken but if that was simply the outrage I doubt it would have trended this big. So the real issue here is chicken Jimin is a phrase that is often used by anti-fans or haters to describe Jimin which just like raise your hand how many of you knew that because as much as I cover BTS I didn't know that. But people were saying that the hater or the stalker fan that wrote this sort of stuff probably works internally with HYBE and were translating this to make fun of Jimin saying this was all on purpose and that HYBE needs to fire this employee. Firing someone is a whole process and it's not that easy over one mistake and yes I personally do believe this was a mistake and we shouldn't jump on this idea that HYBE hires anti-fans. What I do believe is that HYBE doesn't hire only armies but professionals in the industry and I would actually say that the majority of the people that Hype hires probably aren't fans. I don't mean they're haters. They're just not fans. I don't know if that makes sense. But think of it as this way. Are you a fan of every project you do in school or work? Probably not. And even if you're in a field that you enjoy and really like, there's going to be a project that you're just eh about because putting together behind the scenes footage is not exciting. It's whatever. It's fun for us armies. The editing process is literally just clipping together clips and adding captions. It's actually very tedious. And oftentimes there's no special effects or anything like that. What I am trying to say is that there are probably people People on Hive's team that are editors and not fans. They are just editors and they edit for many people and they just put together and move on. They don't hate the content, they don't love the content, they just do their job and go home. And I say this because if the people editing BTS's YouTube video could not be fans, they would have no idea that Jimin is called a chicken online by haters. I'm a fan and I didn't really know. And to me the Korean 
Korean word jugesed do sound somewhat similar. I think this idea that everyone in Hybe is an obsessed fan and not simply just industry professionals is crazy. Let's say, for example, I get an opportunity to work for Taylor Swift. I don't hate her, I don't love her, just whatever about her. I wouldn't keep up with her drama or anything like that. I would simply know that it's an honor to work for her, but I would still just do my job and go home. I'm not spending 15 hours a day at home going on forums to read about the latest Taylor Swift gossip and keeping up with it. And then realize, oh, this particular word is sensitive because some obsessed crazed fans decided to use this word. It's weird to think that there aren't people like that on BTS's team, that everyone is obsessed and keeps up with everything. People's lives do exist outside of the fandom. This is a lot of the issue I try to combat because it's stuff like this that I feel pushes all the progress we made as K-pop fans back a step. Anyone looking on the outside thinks these types of hate trains are a bit much because they understand how the world works and most adults just do a job and go to their family. There's so much K-pop drama going on as per usual and it's a bit interesting to see what gets riled up on the tweetster. For example, Red Velvet had been in trends and it appeared that Wendy had left Red Velvet. So if you didn't know, Wendy was allowed to do some solo work. Now a good thing to mention if you're new into K-pop, a lot of American bands or groups don't do solo work. And oftentimes when we hear a specific member in an American group put out a solo piece of work, we think or we know that the group is on the edge of disbanding and ultimately that is what happens. However, it's very normal for a K-pop group to have one of the members go solo or for each of the members to have a solo piece of work. Wendy was putting out her solo work. We found out this month that Wendy was getting her collaboration song called BD with Wendy and So Jin. And the song features two American actors, probably in the music video. You can tell the actors probably didn't have much of a conversation with each other or coordinated a post. They just seemed to post when they were allowed to. And I guess made up the caption themselves. Usually a company will give you almost a cut and paste of what the caption should say, but they seem to have not done that here. So they posted about them being in the video, obviously very excited, and then a lot of fans found out about their posts and I guess searched up the actors' accounts, maybe hoping for spoilers and what surprised everyone was a different spoiler or what they thought was a spoiler. Because Wendy never announced that she was leaving the group, but the caption the actors put both said Wendy formerly from Red Velvet. So they probably knew about the group Red Velvet, but probably had no idea that in K-pop, artists will go solo for a short time and then go back to the group. Whereas I mentioned earlier in America, once the artist goes solo, it's kind of it. They're going to disband. It was odd because they both put that, but they both could have been under the same misunderstanding due to the fact that they are American. Something like that though should be something they should have run by the company first. Maybe send an email to be like, are they done? Or maybe even check if there was a formal announcement made about the group. When this became such a big deal, the actors took notice and changed their caption to remove formerly. Both of them apparently removed it and there were no issues anymore. This made everyone believe that this was in fact a silly mistake that they made and not a huge deal. But of course, a lot of people thought it was weird. If the actors didn't really keep up with Red Velvet and was just hired to feature in the video by an agency, there must have been talks on set on what the video was for and who it was for and all that. And it makes me believe on set, maybe they were referring to Wendy as someone who had left Red Velvet. And when the confusion happened, they must have realized this wasn't the case. But that is just my conspiracy and my theory. I was not on set to say for sure, but just an interesting thought to take note of. I was definitely confused at how the mistake happened as maybe they were being fed the wrong information, but like why? Again, conspiracy. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is a copyright or getting taken down. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can have videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Currently, we have over 400 videos that are already up on there. The moment you sign up, you'll have access to. And we do have a great time interacting, having fun over there as well. So if you're interested in any of that, link is in the top description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is free to watch and it's on the front page. But with that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you up there. Bye.